This is a Sutotal production. Hello surveyors, this is going to act as our first video for chapter 7 practice. Um, so here you're just kind of working with, um, can you identify strong acids and strong bases? Um, and that's pretty much just going to be uh, the list that we had to memorize uh, that's in the slides. So if you look here on the slide here, I gave you a list of strong acids and strong bases. Um, so for these strong acids, right, we had hydrochloric, hydrobromic, hydroiodic, and then we had three that had um, polyatomic ions associated with them. So like nitric acid, perchloric acid, and sulfuric acid. Now any other acid other than this list is considered a weak acid, right? And we talked about, you know, kind of what that means in terms of, you know, strong acids, they 100% dissociate. They break apart into more or less 100% their H plus and their whatever their conjugate base counterpart is. And then strong bases, all of these have the hydroxide polyatomic ion with them. And you'll notice, you, you know, you got lithium, sodium, potassium. Those are your group 1A metals. And then you also have mercury, uh, not mercury, <laughs> that's magnesium. Magnesium, calcium, strontium. So we've got those group 2A uh, metals as well. All right, so those are all your strong bases. Any other hydroxide is automatically understood to be a weak base. All right, so let's just kind of run through this and figure out our options here. All right, so first off, we have, um, we're, I'm just going to put a check mark where it falls, right? Whether it's a weak acid, a weak base, a strong acid, or a strong base. So here we have HClO4. This is that perchloric acid that was in that list that we saw previously, right? So perchloric acid means that it is a strong acid, all right? Uh, so that will 100% break apart into H+, plus and ClO4 minus, okay? Um, now, here we have uh, chloric acid, not perchloric, chloric acid. So this is still an acid because you see the H in front, right? That kind of tells you that it has a, um, a tendency at times to donate a proton uh, like an acid does, but it's not a strong acid, right? Because it's not ClO4, it's ClO3. So this is a weak acid, okay? Uh, next up, we have this guy here. This is methanol. Now, with this, um, when you look at it, the fact that this bond right here, this oxygen-hydrogen bond, this is highly polarized. And so this at times can donate a proton. But And so because of that, um, <clears throat> we're going to see that this can act like an acid, but it's going to act like a weak acid. It's not in the list of strong acids, right? So if it's going to act like an acid, it's going to be a weak acid because it's not in the list. All right, next up we have uh, ammonia. All right, and so ammonia, as we learned, um, because of the, the NH3 part, it has this lone pair on the nitrogen that has a tendency to want to grab a hydrogen or a, or a proton, per se. So this tends to act like a base, right? Um, and so even though you do have these polarized NH bonds, the, it, this does when those hydrogens are bound to a nitrogen and that nitrogen does not have a positive charge, there's no charge here. You're not going to really see this guy act like a act like an acid at all. So it's not a weak acid or a strong acid, and it's not in our strong base list. So this is going to act like a weak base, all right? And that's kind of what we also see here. So here we had NH3. Now you have NH2, and one of your hydrogens has been swapped out for this CH3 stuff. And so this has still got that lone pair on the nitrogen, and it doesn't have a plus charge on it. So we are going to see this tend to also act like a base, a.k.a. a weak base. All right, uh, next up we have HCl. That's hydrochloric acid. That was in our strong acid list. So I'm going to put an X over here for it. It will break apart efficiently into its individual ions. I don't know why I circled the minus, but not the plus. Um, and then here we have uh, bromic acid. And so for this guy, uh, this wasn't in our list either. This is, you see the hydrogen out front, that is kind of like telling to us that it that it would kind of act like an acid. Uh, but it's not a strong acid. It's going to have to be a weak one. So if we go, right, that first column is our weak acid column. So this is going to be more of a weak acid. Next we have uh, lithium hydroxide. Lithium hydroxide was in that strong base list, right? Rem more or less the easiest thing for you to remember is if it's in that those first two columns like the so you're looking for hydroxide 
and then if you look at the metal cation that's with it, is it in the first two columns? You're kind of at a safe bet to say, oh, okay, well then odds are it is a strong base, right? Hydroxide makes it the base, but the metal with it will tell you if it's a strong or a weak base. So that's in our, our first row, right? Our first group of metals, um, 1A. Uh, group and so for that this is a strong base so I'm gonna have to so this last column is our strong base column so that's what I'm saying it's a strong base okay um, now if we look we have iron hydroxide so if you look iron hydroxide means it's it's probably gonna act like a base right but the iron is actually that's a transition metal it's not in our group 1a or group 2a column so this is not a strong base this is a weak base all right um, and then lastly we have HNO3 that um, so HNO3 we have the hydrogen out in front here so this is actually nitric acid okay um, nitric acid all right and so it is uh, in that list of strong acids so we're gonna put it over here in that third column here right that's the strong acid column and it too will dissociate 100% to H plus and NO3 minus okay I didn't show it for the strong base part either so I guess I should like that's what makes it a strong base it 100% dissociates so let's put our lithium ion and then our, our hydroxide ion right you're gonna get that out of it in, wa in water anyway okay so, um, so from there, uh, hopefully this kind of helps you practice some of those strong acids, strong bases, and then from there, if they're weak, you know, are they a weak acid or are they a weak base? All right. Um, anyway, so hopefully this helps, and as always, stay weird. Audio surveyors.